Greetings today. I'll be reading from Psalm chapter 9. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of your wonders. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. My enemies turn back. They stumble and perish before you. For you have upheld my right hand and my cause. You have set on your throne, judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. You have blotted out their name forever and ever. Endless ruin has overtaken the enemy. You have uprooted their cities. Even the memory of them has perished. The Lord reigns forever. He has established His throne for judgment. He will judge the world in righteousness. He will govern the people with justice. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name will trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those that seek you. Sing praises to the Lord. Enthroned in Zion, proclaim among the nations what he has done. For he who avenges blood remembers. He does not ignore the cry of the afflicted. O Lord, see how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet, they are caught in by the net you have hidden. The Lord is known by his justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked return to the grave, and all the nations that forget God. But the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted ever perish. Arise, O Lord, let not man triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, O Lord. Let the nations know they are but men. Father, it's a joy to come before you today and to read this psalm. Father, we're reminded in this psalm that you are a refuge. You are a tower in the middle of trouble. And so today, Father, we seek refuge in you. And Father, we thank you that you are just. We thank you, God, that you're fair. We thank you, Lord, that you hear the cries of the afflicted, that you understand the prayers of the needy. And Father, we are so grateful today that you are active and that your strong right hand is still moving and still doing things today. Lord, we rejoice in that. We thank you, God, for that. Lord, I pray for those that are needing refuge, those that are in trouble, those that are needy, those that are afflicted. God, I pray right now that you would reach your hand down and touch them and change their situation and meet their need today. Father, we give you praise in advance for it. It's in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen.